Hello everyone, and welcome back to some new Prismata. A ranked game. How exciting. I haven't done one of these on camera for almost a week. Uh, more like five days, I guess. That makes sense. Must have been the end of last weekend. It's now the beginning of this weekend. Sure. Uh, meanwhile, what's on TV? Rank 8 and Will So Handsome. Uh, ooh, two Galvanis, really? That doesn't seem very good. Seems way too early. Let's buy drones. Well, okay, I mean, I guess if you want to go Conduit and Blast Forge, but why would you do that? I don't know, it's a mystery. Uh, what, are we, what would we do in this set? Like, I guess both players want Thunderhead, but that doesn't seem that common to me. Junk Mail, a person with a Platinum ticket, apparently. Eh, base plus nine is fine. Good league practice, right? Uh, so the main question here, I guess, is can you go Apollo? Because if so, a lot of the rushy red stuff is not going to work. I think the answer to that is no. I think this is a Hellhound, Grimbotch, Electrovore game. Um, now, we're a little lower, like, uh, because of Doomed Wall, I'm a little bit less excited about the standard, like, player one, turn three, Blast Forge Animus. It makes it a bit hard to get um, a large absorber like Doomed Wall. But you can just, like, instead of wall, build Doomed Wall, and then instead of Grimbotch, build um, Frostbite or something, right? Like, that should be okay. So I think I will still get the turn 3 Blast Forge Animus. I think that should be way too fast for Apollo to deal with. And I think it should be Scorchilla's also. Yeah. Um, if we were going to try to go for something slightly higher econ, it would be Double Drone Animus on turn three. But okay, he's he's going for some rushy stuff, of course. I mean, I don't know. I think for Hellhounds, you usually actually want as player two to just also turn three Blast Forge Animus, but you Blast Forge Animus Drone, which is kind of the higher econ version, works well with Doomed Wall. I don't like this lower econ, but you know, there's Fours and Grimbotches, right? Like, that's pretty serious. If you build those, I'm... Okay, but he's not. So I'll just, like, start punching him. Good luck with those Rhinos, buddy. I mean, yeah, obviously he, he threatens to hit me for quite a bit here, but I can just wall... Uh, botch... Is Frostbite good here? He doesn't have blue and doesn't look likely to get it. It's sort of like... I think it's still fine if it threatens to freeze a Rhino. The other option would be... Ooh, a Doomed Wall. That's probably better, right? Yeah, Doomed Wall is just disgusting here. I don't mind floating a red to get that. This maybe should have been a Vore also, but no. I, I, I built just one Vore because I was thinking of a wall, and I would only have one Engineer left. Hmm. Okay, so if he can manage to get two Frostbites, my Doomed Wall will look kind of bad. But that's going to be tough for him, isn't it? Yeah, maybe this should have just been a wall. I don't know. Wall is also sort of more vulnerable to Frostbite in a way, because... Uh, no, I think the Grimbot here is better. We, we, we're going to want a train going... No, because he has Frostbites. I don't know. I'm going to have trouble keeping two Engineers alive at all times, I think. This is fine.
and uh, he is losing at least one attack. Actually, maybe this is maybe this should be a board. He's losing at least one attack. Um, either the Rhino or both engineers. So he's only attacking for at most four, killing one NG. I think I'll I'll take this. I don't know. Having already started the Grimbot's train, should I continue it? Maybe this one should have been a Vor, but since it wasn't, maybe I should continue with Grimbotches. Doesn't feel like it makes a huge difference, but I'm gonna go with Grimbotch just in case I get to a position where I can't keep two Electrovores firing. It's never gonna be too bad to defend with a Grimbotch, so... Whereas it might be bad if I have to defend with an Electrovore before I really want to. That is a lot of chill. But uh, the nice thing about Hellhounds is they give you engineers, right? What if I don't build this? What if I get, um... Next turn I could get, like... Okay. Interesting. I, I was a, a little bit worried that his Frostbites were gonna get great value. Um, freezing my Grimbotches and, you know, maybe my second Doomed Wall or something. But I have a lot of attack. And the Hellhounds are really just quite disgusting. Yeah, so I think this Grimbotch could have been an Electrovore. I, I should have, when I changed my mind and got the wall, I should have realized, gone back, canceled the botch. Um, because it, it sort of was like... His Frostbites were a lot stronger because I had a Grimbotch timing out. And that, that countdown was sort of wearing on my, on my, uh, it was weighing on me, I guess. I was, I was worried that, uh, when I had to hold back the Grimbotch, he would get good Frostbite value out of it. Um, and if I realized after this Doomed Wall change, then probably an Electrophor would have been better. But if all he's really building is these, like, then then I have five attack and he has three, right? So... Okay, well, let's, let's move on. Nice quick game. Junkmail says 1701. We were just playing him. Right? No, oh, he, he said that before we played him. I don't know why. Is that his rating? I don't know. Yes, it was. Okay. So maybe he just made it to Master and someone was asking about his rating? Makes sense. Let's see what he's up to. By the way, anyone I know doing anything interesting? I wish you could see, like, when I'm spectating, maybe I want to change my mind and go watch somebody, right? Why am I only allowed to message someone when I'm spectating? It's silly. Um, but okay, what's going on here? Hematite, we did a um, why did I lose for him as well. So I sort of know both of these players now. Wow. Huh. Shouldn't, shouldn't we be getting Arms Race and Colossus here? Why is everyone going red first? Is Blood Rager that good? Maybe. I don't know. I like the guy with all the Doom Drones, though. I gotta say that. Sentinel. Will so handsome. He was playing a game earlier, right? He's, uh... 
low ranked master tier, I think. So, best absorber here is Doomed Mech. Um, Hannibal is also kind of good soak. We're player one. Isn't there like a disgusting player two chrono filter into Hannibal thing? Yeah. What are you supposed to do about that as player one, huh? I don't know. Get a wild drone? You can't get the Chrono Filter yourself. You'll only have uh, nine bucks next turn if you do that. I think I will just get a wild drone here. And... You know, if my opponent does anything really crazy, I guess I'll build a Blast Forge and two Doomies or something. But otherwise... I don't know. Like, Doomed Mech is probably correct. I'm just not sure of the details. Okay, so he's going for high econ. And if Doomed Mech is correct, you should do that. The other thing you could do would be to try Ferals, I guess. But that really ought to lose to, uh, to Doomed Mechs, I think. Dune Mech supports everything else in this set, in a way, right? It's a nice, cheap defender that you can use against Winsor. It's a way to spend the double blue. It gives you the luxury of, you know, having more time to go droning. I think I'll go ahead and mirror this. But this might be enough wilds. Maybe we switch to, like, normals and dooms now? It depends on how badly I want to conduit, right? Fourth engineer. Wow, that's a little bit greedy, isn't it? Is anything going like this? to let me get started on... Like, I can pick up some blue next turn, right? And, uh... This seems a... But what am I doing with the green, right? Nothing. I could do this, get a Blast Forge, but I don't want that either. Actually, maybe I will get some green. Right, because I have... Oh, yeah, Chrono Filter lets you get some disgustingly early winter, right? So we can do this. And then get, like, a Blast Forge plus a Chrono Filter. Or a Blast Forge and then later a Chrono Filter. Something like that. So what if I were to get a Chrono Filter here and, and like a couple Doom Drones? I think that would be a little too early for a Winsor. Delaying it one turn should be okay. He's he's taking things quite slow, so he can't really catch up and, and stop me. The Chrono Filter means I won't be able to Antima after the Winsor, but I think that's okay. Okay, he's just gonna pick up the first Winsor, huh? No, Comet. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm still gonna get a Winsor. You'd rather lose a two lifespan Doom Drone than an... Oh yeah, of course, since you're going Cometing, of 
fine. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this comet, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to have a lot of... Uh, I'll have, you know, a couple force fields available, a doom drone to defend, or two. I can build walls. So how much is he going to be able to attack for, right? Wait, he floated $16. <laughs> oh my god. So... So he can buy... He will have uh, 35 bucks, um, with which he can buy 14 engineers. There are that many. And he has four now, that's 18. I have three, I can build a wall. Wall and this is five, seven, six. I'm just gonna buy all the NGs. <laughs> uh, I don't want Doom Drones right now. I'm gonna need to harvest all of these. I I'm not gonna get a chance to harvest them. I'll, get to I'll be defending with them. You can just shifty, you know. And, uh... We're not going to need to defend again for quite a while, so no more Doom Drones, please. Just replace the Engineer that we're about to lose, question mark? The first Winter Shot can kill a bunch of Wild Drones. And uh, I can build a Doomed Mech next turn, or maybe a Hannibal or something. He does seem ahead, though. He has more economy. I guess my advantage is I have a Winter, right? That's not nothing. Oh, sneaky. But I still get all my Absorb, right? So we want to deal 7, 10, 13, 16 ideally, which means I just need to have one attacker available. Um, I can build this if I want, but isn't a doomed mech better? Because I can get a Tarsier? I want more drones! But this isn't the turn for it, I guess. Not when I have all this tech. Next turn I'll have less tech, I can buy drones. Doom drones, actually? Probably not. I guess I don't have any income, huh? Oh, I'm super dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that should be fun. I guess I might as well attack with this, huh? He's not attacking for anything and he's not absorbing.
Okay, I think he's got me here. But, uh, I don't know. Time to drone back up and see if I get there somehow? <laughs> this is the worst. Well, you know, I guess I... Uh... Everything is clearly bad here. Nothing can ever win. But I guess I better get some real drones. Oh my god. No, what? Yeah, build a splitter, you weirdo. <sighs> I'm just so far behind economically. And unless the Winter kills him on the next shot, which it clearly will not. I don't see how I have any advantage otherwise, right? Like... Uh... I mean, cluster bolt. <laughs> uh, what exactly am I threatening? 2, 3, 4, 5, 20... Could be 24? But he's already defended against that, right? Like, it's, it's not a problem for him. I don't know, let's go for it. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. I, I don't need to stick around and watch this one. Yuck. I didn't expect the... an Antima to be so good. But... I should have paid more attention to the threat of Chrono Filter Antima. Um, and I also just, like, did not build enough... tech. Enough uh, drones, I should say, for all the tech I committed to. Yeah, it was cool to get out Winsor. Uh, but I didn't have enough permanent drones to support it, and I didn't expect this Antima so soon. But actually, with like wild drones and doom drones, your economy really accelerates and you can build a lot of engineers. So, yeah, like I, I had a chance, right? I could have on this turn, could have built my own uh, comet, get there before him. I don't know, for some reason, it just never occurs to me that someone can build like all three tech colors on the same turn. Who would ever do such a thing? Uh, but, but this. Yeah, I, I should keep in mind that alternate drones make Antima more threatening, assuming they're, like, efficient alternate drones. Huh. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a game. Lost a lot of points. Uh, he was not ranked very highly, but it seemed well executed to me. A lot of a lot of games going on right now. Let's check out Hematite's game. We're up here. I never really have enough time to figure out what's going on when I'm watching one of these games, but okay, Thermite Core is getting some serious value here, right? Yeah, we're we're attacking for zero into a defense grid. That's cute. Um. I guess the guy with grenade mechs is trying to breach us real quick. Economically, sort of similar? I don't know. I would expect the defense grid to be working out okay. Domalus. Demalus. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Grim brotches and protoplasms with doom drones? Maybe? It seems pretty fast anyway. The question is just can you actually get protoplasms? 
Or is it just like Tarsiers, Grimbotches, and maybe a wall or two? We could get a turn two Animus, I guess, with Doom Drone? That seems like... Might be good. Because otherwise, he can build Animus double Doom Drone, and like, I'm really in trouble against that, aren't I? I also build double Doom Drone Conduit if I think Protoplasms are the right idea. That's pretty greedy. Like, I'm not gonna have that much green, really, am I? But it could really turn the tide, I feel like. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with this Animus here. It's so aggressive. I think I'll just lose to a Protoplasm player if I do that. Really? Conduit first. It's fine. Yeah, I mean... Oops, uh, meant this. So he's clearly got way more economy. I never know what to do on these turns. Do you get a, a Grim Botch? Did you get like two botches, two Tarsiers, one of each? I don't know. If I build Grim Botch, he'll probably just want like Rhino, right? But then we've made him Rhino, which he doesn't really want to do either. I'm just gonna get two Tarsiers. If he does anything super aggressive, I can protoplasm him. And if he doesn't, I can Grimbotch him, so. Really? That's not what I thought the green was for. That's a big surprise to me. Maybe some of these should be real drones? Nah. We're gonna be needing to defend quite a lot in a big hurry, I suspect. Well, Protoplasm is like the last attacker you buy, the, like, once you buy this, you're basically just buying Protoplasms forever, is what I mean. Like, once you buy a Protoplasm, it gives you so much tempo that you can never really afford to give back that tempo. And so he's just planning to be on this much attack forever, is what it looks like to me. I love him clicking this Tantalum Ray, because... It means he doesn't get as much value by holding back his protoplasm. Right, he's attacking for at least two, so I can do this. Um, I... I don't know if he should click his proto here or not. So I'm not sure if I should hold my Doom Drone. I think if I hold a second Doom Drone... might want to hold the proto back. And then I'm getting no value from this. I think I'm going to just hold one. I'm getting the Scouse Cannon instead of a, a Tantalum so that I can proto again next turn.
Yeah, see, that's the thing. You can't proto, and you can't not proto. Kind of a tough spot. You have to hold a lot of drones. That's why I was buying all these doomies. So good. Yeah, if, if he does this, like, he's just on a single tantalum ray forever, which is fine with me, as his only attack. And I don't know, maybe he can click a rhino or something. I should probably build a conduit next turn so I can continue protoplasming. Uh, actually, I don't want to proto. He's just like attacking me for nothing. So let's just do this. Buy another Grimbotch, Conduit, NG. I don't need a conduit since I'm not protoplasming this turn. I'll have like a, a ton of green to spare. So get an engineer. Give me my granularity back. Let me buy a doom drone or two. I only have one. Alright, one NG will be fine, I guess. Maybe I should buy two to let me get drones? I don't think so. Who wants drones, right? I, I guess I have enough money to buy, like, Doom Drone, Drone, and spend all my money, so let's do that. that he keeps clicking the tantalum rays to sync up with his protoplasms, which is like the worst, because you want to be able to threaten to hold your protoplasm back so that I don't get Doom Drone value. It, it looks like the highest tempo play because it's like making me defend the most all at once, but actually it's the worst because it gives me like a ton of value here. Um, I'm again going to hold just one so that he doesn't get rewarded by holding his proto black back. If I held two back, I'd be getting, like, no absorb value. This way, even if, if he doesn't click, I get, like, rhino absorb. Yeah, we're dragging him down into the weeds with us. Way back down into low drone town. No drone town, I guess? Um, I guess I'm just attacking with everything, and he's going to have two, perhaps three attack. I guess I can do this, right? Hold a Grimbotch. That means he never wants to click his Rhino, right? Clicking Rhino is strictly bad for him in this case. So what if I do this instead? Just hold a single Doom Drone? Now he needs to click... Clicking Rhino does one damage. But that's not great value, right? exactly with what we could get value out of and no more. He 
He's gonna just have the Proto and the Tantalum Ray. Holding this back is kind of cool. But I think if he wants to not attack with the Proto, I'm fine with that. Alright, like, how does he ever win in that world? How does he ever win in that world? He's super dead now. So the, uh, the famous Doom Drone heuristic applied correctly in this game. Whoever buys the most Doom Drones probably wins. They're just a really strong unit. Um, did they contribute that much? Were they the, the deciding factor? I don't know. <clears throat> Pardon me, I had to sneeze there. But I remember where the mute button is. I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, so, uh, what happened this game? It's definitely very rushy. Grimbotch and Protoplasm are the main units. Um, maybe Tantalum... Ra oh, of course, Doom Drone. Doom Drone is the main unit. Uh, but these two are the attackers you'll want. And I thought... I don't know. I, I think it's not going to be correct to build a turn 2 Animus. Uh, protoplasm is there as like a way to reward the higher econ player in a way because it's a lot of defensive tempo and offensive tempo and it's sort of expensive it's a, a pseudo absorber right um and the once the game gets to the state where both players are buying protoplasms The, the, the pressure skyrockets immediately, and the lower econ player will have trouble keeping up. I don't think they'll have enough attack to make up for it, but maybe they would. Maybe I would be fine. Oh, right. Yes. The lower econ player would have enough attack if they could build protoplasms, right? The problem is, if you build an animus here, you, you won't ever have protoplasms. It's just not going to happen. And so I think the protoplasm would punish mono red. You need to have green available so that you can keep up with protoplasms. And uh, it just happens to like, I've never really thought about it, but red green with doom drones times out really well as player one if you expect to be able to defend with those doom drones in a hurry. Um, and, and then like you can just build two tarsiers and like, do more Doom Drones is just amazing. Your economy gets going like crazy, and you're never floating any money. I didn't realize it was so efficient. Wait. I didn't notice this in the game. He built the Animus, but then spent all his money on Tantalum Rays for some reason? This is crazy. The green sticks around forever. The red is precious. You gotta spend it while you can. Just build, like... Tarsier, Grimbotch, or Tarsier, Tarsier, or whatever. Um, and then, like, you already have plenty of green, and so I would just get, like, Drone, Doom Drone, or perhaps Double Doom Drone. Uh, I think you don't really need the second conduit unless you buy the Tantalum Ray, which seems like a pretty poor purchase to me. Tarsier is a, a better first attacker than Tantalum Ray, right? Because you can time other attackers to arrive with it, and you're not getting your attack absorbed at any point. Uh, but the Tantalum Ray, I can just build a Rhino, and like, does nothing. And he transitioned into Protoplasms. I don't know, it looks like a losing move, but everything looks losing when your opponent is four attack ahead of you, or three, I guess. Uh, economically, like, it's pretty similar, right? I have 16 drones, and he has 16 drones. Mine are dying sooner than his are, but that's not that big a deal. Um, since he had to actually start defending with his regular drones pretty early on. 
And, uh... Yeah, the thing about Protoplasm is, like, generally once you buy one, you have to keep buying them forever. They're very much a, a train sort of unit. Um, by not doing that, he... I don't know. Like, what was he supposed to do? Just keep buying Protoplasms forever? He wasn't gonna win that way. Um, but by not doing it, it meant I didn't really have to, and I could afford to, like, not build a second conduit. He, he's the one with all the green in the world. I think he should be trying to keep up the protoplasm pressure and maybe make it hard for me to keep up. I don't know. It was kind of a, I haven't often had uh, a position where it's like, for so many turns in a row, unclear how many Doom Drones to defend with. And like likewise the, the expiring Grimbotch. Because he had a lot of flexible attack that it was like not clear if it was right for him to use. I, I think by holding back one Doom Drone, I I took the middle path uh, reasonably well. Left him with a not great option of holding back his stuff and a not great option of attacking. Maybe he would have let me get away with holding both, but I don't think I should rely on that kind of error. Okay, well, uh, Doom Drones, good unit. Was that, uh, that was two games, right? Three! Three games. Oh yes, we lost one and won two. Okay, cool. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.